Hello everyone. Digital Portfolio. This is your next project. You will create a digital portfolio using Google Sites to showcase all your best assignments and projects that you have done in class. You would create a Google Site. You would show your best assignments and projects that you have done in your class. This would be as your final project for this semester and of course this is going to be created as an assessment so do you 100% best. You will continue maintaining this website for all the classes until you are in high school. Is a portfolio. Traditionally speaking a portfolio is nothing but uh, a collection of materials in your binder that showcases your skills, training, knowledge etc. And in olden days, people would actually carry their binders as portfolios with them. For interviews, this binder would include supporting documents like resume, projects, certificates, etc. So when they are asked questions about their skills or work in interview, they would take out the sample project and show it to them. But of course, in this high-tech world, we would create a digital portfolio. Now, what is a digital portfolio? Digital portfolio means a student can save their work electronically in a web page or a flash drive. A student can create a website to showcase their assignments, projects. Portfolio also provides students the opportunity to reflect on what they have learned over the course of a semester or a year. So how do I select the best work? Ask yourself the following questions about each sample. Is this my best work? Does this show mastery of a skill? Am I proud of the sample? If the answer to all these questions is yes, then you may select your work for the website. Now let's take a look at some student samples here. These are some samples from my previous years I've collected. Uh, let's take a look at Victor's work. In. This is his website and he has a home page and he has first paragraph here second paragraph here he also has some pictures on his home page now first paragraph Victor is talking a little bit about himself do not push too much of personal information in here in the second paragraph is talking about why is he creating this website and on the left hand side if you see there are a lot of pages this website has let's click on intro unit this was the first unit that we studied for every unit, you need to have three things. What I learned, what programs I used, what assignments I did. And you can do attachments of your files in here. Of course, you would have a picture on each page and picture should be appropriate. Now let's take a look at computer history unit. We have some pictures, what I learned, what programs I used. The assignments are attached here as files. Next unit is internet and computer safety, what I learned, what programs I used and some attachments over here. Of course the page is having some pictures. Next unit computers today, what I learned, what programs I used and attachments. Same thing for the other units that we would be working in future. There are many more examples in here. Feel free to click on these and take a look at it. Now if you take a look at uh, Juan's website he has his home page he has his picture now putting a picture is optional this is his first paragraph where he's telling something about himself don't make it too personal the second paragraph is telling about why is he making this website last year he worked on computer fundamentals and he created pages for each of his fundamentals assignment project that he did and then he was with me in computer science honors one two and for each class he has maintained his 
work. So you will be continuing on this high school years. You will maintain this website, whether you are in computer science class, whether you are in programming class, whether you are in animation class, whether